All right, as promised, we'll get you down to that Colorado State Ram locker room. Marty Cesario standing by with Trey McBride, who had his first ever 100-yard receiving game. And let's start with that, Trey. We're visiting with sophomore tight end Trey McBride. First ever 100-yard game receiving noted. What does that make you feel like in terms of the progress ahead? Yeah, it's definitely uh, pretty exciting. I know that uh, we're returning a lot of guys next year, so I'm, I'm super excited. Our whole O-line uh, did a great job tonight protecting, and Patrick was able to find me a couple couple big plays, and uh, I'm very, very grateful. I mean, I couldn't have done it without the O-line and Patrick, but um, I mean, it's really not all about me. I'm, I'm kind of uh, bummed that we didn't get the win because it's really not all about me. I can care less if I had zero catches if we win the ball game. And that fits your brand without a doubt. McBride brothers, right? Yes, um, let's focus on today and then we'll move forward, okay? When you say you didn't get the win, what were the challenges and the reasons why you did not get the W? Yeah, I think I think we came out, played really well. Um, just like always, I think it's just a handful of plays um, here and there. Patrick threw a pick um, in that early in that first half, and then that defensive end made a really great play on that second pick. And I think it's just a handful of plays here and there. Um, we're really right there in that game. Um, a couple calls didn't go our way and, and things like that, but we're really right there. Um, I'm very, very happy with how we played tonight, but it wasn't enough. Seems to be a, a theme down here. You're this close, right? Right, right. What are you going to do in 2020 to where you get over the hump? Yeah, I mean, like I said, we're returning a lot of lot of starters. Uh, we have a lot of good ball players coming back, so I'm really excited for the uh, the next year and, and the progress that we can make um, this off season. I mean, there's nothing nothing to do but get back to work and and grind. And and we obviously didn't work hard enough last year, so we got to go one step one step further and, and work harder than we ever have before because um, that's what it's going to take to be successful next year. Again, we're visiting with sophomore. Tom and Trey McBride. Technically, you're still an underclassman. So down here, when you have the embraces with guys like Jamal Hicks, what do you carry from them moving forward? Yeah, uh, our senior class this year was was great. They a lot of good, a lot of good people in there, a lot of role models and stuff like that. So um, there's guys that, that they're going to be friends for the rest of our lives. So I'm I'm really happy with the way uh, they played tonight, and and we did everything we could to get them that win, and it just we just fell a little short. But I'm very grateful for all the seniors and everything they've done for this program and from from when they got here to now. So um, I can't thank them enough for everything. Talk about the seniors departing. Also, your brother, Tommy McBride. Uh, yeah. How important was it for you to watch him participate in his last game? Yeah, he uh, he actually had a sprained ankle, and he uh, he said there's no, nothing that's going to hold me out of playing this game. So uh, he's, he's one of the toughest dudes I've ever met. So I'm very, very happy that I got to play my two years with him, and, and he's going to go on and do his own thing. But I'm very grateful for the opportunity I had to play with him. And, and he's, uh, he's one tough dude for playing tonight because I know he was in a lot of pain. He's been wearing a boot all week. And there's nothing that was holding him out of this game. So, well, big bros got that and yes. toughness. You got a little of that yourself. You're a dirty sure. dog, and we'll watch the rest, yes, of, the rest of your career. Thank yes, you, Trey. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Trey McBride visiting with us. And, well, you know, here's that brotherhood. And Warren kind of hints at this the last couple of times we visit in the locker room, even in the Wyoming game, where he said, you know, this one hurts more because we work so hard together. And just watching you guys embrace before Trey departs, what is it about this crew that we can believe in moving forward in 2020? You're going to be here. So is Trey, but we can believe in that. Um, just the love we have for each other is real, is genuine. And nobody, I don't want to say anybody's really selfish on this team. We all play for each other. And uh, I, I just, I'm just so thankful for that group of seniors. You know, they sacrifice, you know, their senior season to turn, start to turn this program around. You know, it's not going to change overnight. It takes time. So they sacrificed everything to help turn this program around, something that would change the school forever. So I'm just so thankful for those group of seniors for doing that. And, you know, it, it, even though we didn't end how we wanted to, you can tell that we're, we're starting to get better by strides each day, every practice, every rep. So that's something I'm just thankful for. Visiting with junior wide receiver Warren Jackson. You keep making references on what you're going to accomplish next year, so that gives us confidence. We're definitely going to have number nine on the football field here in Fort Collins, true? Um, I haven't talked to my parents about it, but I'm pretty sure I will be, so yeah. Gotcha. Okay, what do you want to accomplish in 2020 then? Mountain West Championship.